Brady Brady and the Santa Search by Mary Shaw and Chuck Temple. Brady loved hockey. Brady also loved Christmas. These days, hockey and Christmas were all Brady thought about. His family had to call him twice to get his attention. Brady, Brady, that's enough, Tensel. Brady, Brady, leave those cookies. Brady, Brady, go to bed. Brady's team, the Ice Hugs, had a game on Christmas Eve. As usual, Brady was the first one at the rink so he could high-five his teammates as they arrived. The kids chatted excitedly about what they had asked Santa for. Brady fell silent. He had written a letter to Santa asking for a big red metal hockey net, but he had forgotten to mail it. And now, it was Christmas Eve. How could he tell Santa what he wanted? Was it too late? Brady was so worried he didn't yell the team cheer as loudly as he usually did. We've got the power, we've got the might. Santa is a hockey fan and he'll be busy tonight. The ref blew his whistle and the game began. Brady couldn't stop thinking about his letter to Santa. It bothered him so much he skated right into Tess in the middle of her twirling torpedo. The score was tied with only 10 seconds remaining when Brady got a breakaway. Brady could hear the cheering as he skated toward the net. It made him skate even faster. Brady knew he would do his go-to move where he would fake a shot, then slide the puck into the five hole between the goalie's pads. But just as Brady was about to shoot, someone at the corner of the glass caught his eye. Brady's jaw dropped when he realized who it was. Tripping over his stick, he slid right past the net as the final buzzer went off. Brady scrambled to his feet and looked over to the corner, but there was nobody at the glass. He raced to his bench. Did you see him? Did you see him? Brady shouted breathlessly. The ice hogs looked confused. See who? Tess asked. Santa! Brady screamed, pointing to the far corner. Santa was watching our game, and I need to find him. I forgot to send him my letter. He won't know what I'm hoping for. The ice hugs rushed to the dressing room and took off their skates. Brady led them to the corner of the glass where he had seen Santa cheering him on. But there was nobody there. Brady turned to face his teammates. I'm telling you, he was right here. Brady explained, pointing to a smudge on the glass. The kids stared wide open. Look at this, Tree said as he bent over to pick up a candy cane. There's another one over here, yelled Tess. He's here somewhere, insisted Brady. The search was on. This must be from his sleigh, sang Tree, pointing to a metal blade tucked under the bleachers. At the concession stand, they found a red hat. Santa must have lost it, suggested Carolyn. Behind the arena, they found prints in the snow. For sure, these are from a reindeer, squealed Gregory. And when they heard bells ringing, they rushed back into the rink. But Santa was nowhere to be found. Disappointed, the ice hugs walked back to their dressing room to take off the rest of their equipment. Brady slumped in the corner and groaned, How is Santa going to know? 
On his way out of the rink, Brady pressed his hand to the smudge in the glass and blinked back a tear. Brady cheered up a little when they pulled into the driveway and he saw his great rink all lit up. It looked magical. Skating on his backyard rink with his family was Brady's favorite Christmas Eve tradition. Put those skates back on, said Grandpa. It's time for a hol little holiday hockey. Brady shrugged, but he laced up his skates. Brady's whole family played four hours. It had just started snowing when Brady's mother brought out Coco. Time to come in, she said. Brady let out a little sigh. Even with, with his old net, his backyard rink was still the best ever. Snowflakes melted on his face as he looked up to the sky. Wait, I have a great idea, Brady shouted. Grabbing a squirt bottle full of juice, Brady wrote in big letters across his rink. Hi, Santa, can you please leave me a new hockey net? Thank you, safe travels. When mom insisted it was time for bed, Brady set out milk and cookies for Santa and carrots for the reindeer, of course. His grandpa tucked him in and read twas the night before Christmas. Brady drifted off to sleep, dreaming about big goals and flying reindeer. Early the next morning, Brady ran from the bedroom to bedroom, waking everyone up. He slid down the stairs and rushed to the tree. And there, on his brand new hockey, hockey net, was a note. I would have shut the puck top corner on that breakaway. Merry, Merry Christmas, Brady, Brady. Love, Santa. The end.